Pregame.com. Oklahoma visits Iowa State this Saturday. Oklahoma coming off a very disappointing loss to Notre Dame. Oklahoma thinking they could get back in the national championship picture. Of course, Notre Dame pretty much dominated them from top to bottom. That is out the window now. They're playing a tough Iowa State team. And uh, Chuck, your thoughts on this game? 11 and 52 and a half. By the way, 52 and a half, that's like a low total anymore. I mean, you know, sure, we're in we're college see, for sure. Yeah, college, Even in pro now. We're seeing 60s and 70s. Yeah, this is a, yeah. kind of a low total. And, and rightfully so. Iowa State's been playing great defense last week. They held Baylor, the third best offense in football. They held them to 21 points just a couple weeks back. Uh, the game in Iowa State when they lost to Kansas State. An impressive loss, if you want to say, 27 21 against that Kansas State team. And then, you know, you throw in the, the hangover issue here. The Oklahoma season was basically done with after that Notre Dame loss they've got really the only thing they could play for now is maybe uh, to win the you know the Big 12 but that you know I like going against teams in, in that situation and you're going to get a, a hungry Iowa State team here at home. I think like I said I think Iowa State tough tough defense they've given up over 30 points only one time this year and in playing in that conference I mean that really is one of the higher scoring conferences no Good question about it yeah. and you look at Iowa State Texas Tech plays a little bit of defense too in that conference but uh, they have done exceptionally well on that side of the ball and we talked about the total I think in a spot like this you want to grab the 11 that's what I'm intent on doing I mean when you look at Oklahoma I think they've been overvalued, not by the betting public, I think by the odds makers. Here's one where I think the, the players were right and the odds makers been wrong. Because when you look at a lot of the rankings from, you know, odds maker numbers, professional betters, power ratings that we all share, they have Oklahoma a lot higher mm -hmm. than they should be. And I know most that guys that I respect had Oklahoma a lot higher than I've had them of late. I was surprised they were given that many to Notre Dame. I thought they had no business doing that. Um, and yet, here they are again, given a team that this is their game. For mm -hmm. Iowa State, it don't get bigger than this. And then you look at Oklahoma, like, you, like Chuck said, here's a team that thought they could get back in the national title picture. So they've had their bubble busted two different times. It's tough to get up over after that. And what a difference a year makes. Last year, they were 29-point home favorites against Iowa State. The year before that, they were 23-point home favorites. Now, all of a sudden, it looks a little cheap, but I think no. it's still too high. I like the Iowa State. There's side. a reason for it being so cheap. I think that that goes right in line. And uh, I got a little grief from some people this last week. We were talking about, uh, talking about the Notre Dame game. And when I looked at the Notre Dame game, my first intention was to bet on Oklahoma because I did not think Notre Dame could score with them. And I tweeted out after the game that, you know, I did not bet Notre Dame. <laughs> but I said they beat a paper tiger. And I heard from, you know, and the Oklahoma people didn't like that. But in all honesty, and I mentioned it on our show on uh, Monday that I do with Scott. Uh, they've been a paper tiger for years. It's not just this year. It's the last couple of years. I agree. Stoops won a national championship his first year there, and they've been a little disappointed. I, I agree. Before. Always about the big, skill big position. Big game, Bob, and all yeah, that. The, the quarterbacks, everything. Yeah. But uh, I will say this, too. You know, we were talking about Iowa State, how good a defense they've been playing. Last week, Steele Jantz, the quarterback, they benched him for three weeks. They put him on the bench. They weren't happy with the way he was playing. He had a monster game, 380 yards passing against Baylor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and what they did defensively, you know, I, I want to that emphasize was again. That they held impressive. a Baylor offense. We've seen this offense. I mean, how many against West Virginia and Texas? Some of the teams put up 60, 70. They held them to 21 points. That was pretty impressive defensive effort. There. And agree. against Kansas State. Look at Kansas Absolutely. State, what they've been doing. Well, 50 yeah. points Lighting every, yeah. every team up. That was a close game. They held them to 27. You look at Tulsa, nice, nice yeah. offense. I mean, I know it was game one, held them to 23. Iowa was 9-6. Iowa's not a great offensive team. And, uh, and you hold any team to six points. Yeah, and that's, that's, the, that's, that's right. deep. Yeah. So I, I, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the points here. And uh, I, I, I'm, I don't, I, I don't want to say I'm going to hold my breath because I think that they'll have this covered fairly easily. I really do. So we've talked about it. Let's go ahead and make it official. 
for my best bet of the week, I'm going to take Iowa State plus the 11 against Oklahoma, a tough defensive team playing at home and what's a very, very big game for them. Oklahoma coming off what should be a devastating loss for kids that really thought they had a chance to get back into the national championship picture. Like I said, that was the second time, or VR said that was the second time they had their bubble burst. I think it's going to be very difficult for them to get up again for a game like this, especially traveling. It's a pretty tough venue in Iowa State. I'm going to take the dog plus the 11. You know, I was going to add in real quick, you know, Oklahoma, Notre Dame's offense really hasn't been that prolific. And I know it was a lower scoring game than the box score, but Notre Dame was able to run the ball on, mm -hmm. on yeah. Oklahoma pretty good there. Uh, Iowa State, James White, their running back, he also came back last week. And uh, I think they might be able to move the ball on the ground against that Oklahoma team. And I just think just the way the game sets up, the situation is perfect. Iowa State comes in with a lot of confidence. The way they handled Baylor, the mindset of Oklahoma, where could it possibly be right now? Exactly. This is such a huge game for those kids of Iowa State. So, I mean, you're going to get 60 minutes of effort. Probably and if, you could, get, if you could get 60 minutes of effort from a dog, you can't ask for much better. Yeah. A dog that has a shot to win the game, if they give you 60 minutes of effort, win, right? exactly, Absolutely. and you Absolutely. give me 60 minutes of effort and getting over 10 points, that back door is going to stay wide open. Yeah, they bought the Iowa State. You may not even up. need it. They may walk right through money, that early. Money, you right? got to sprinkle a little something. Last year. You got you know, it. They beat you're going to bet you got to sprinkle something on it. Okay, coming up next, we're going to hear from Chuck Edel. He's going to give us his best bet: Central Michigan and Western Michigan. Marquee always. Well, Chuck, Chuck's a Midwest prime time Chuck. Midwest boy. Don't worry. Watch out for this guy. And you can watch all our videos at pregame.tv. <laughs> Primetime Chuck.